welcome back to my channel. Um, I am super inconsistent with this and I need to get better with it and I want to get better with it. I am going to post every week if I can because there's been several weeks that I could have but I didn't. So <laughs> things have been super busy, super stressful. Um, but in all, this only takes like an hour of work out of my time. It's just the motivation was lacking. And the Bible says to be a good steward of what you have. And this is what I have. So I can't expect to have, whether it be a bigger audience here or people in my life that I can influence, I cannot expect to have those things if I am not a good steward of this. So that is <laughs> my motivation is I cannot reach more lives if I am not doing what I, doing good with what I have. So today I just want to do um, just a quick little devotional. I always say it's going to be quick and it really never <laughs> is that quick. Um, but this one hopefully will be shorter. So I uh, was reading Proverbs chapter 30. And honestly, like, I'm not even reading Proverbs right now, really. Um, I'm doing like a small little devotional that's how God is described in Proverbs and Proverbs chapter 30 just caught my eye because there's just like these quirky cute little verses um, that are if you allow the Holy Spirit to talk to you through these quirky quirky cute little verses they are amazingly powerful so I'm going to talk about verses 24 through 28 so first I will just read it and then kind of go through it slowly. So verse 24, there are four things on the earth that are small, but unusually wise. Ants, they aren't strong, but they store up food all summer. Hyrixes, which are at the bottom, it says um, rock badgers. They aren't powerful, but they make their homes among the rocks. Locusts, they have no king, but they march in formation. Lizards, they are easy to catch, but they are found even in king's palaces. Before I wrote these down in my journal, I just was like, okay, God, what do you want to teach me with this? Because it's such a unique and different section of verses. So I wrote down like, ants aren't strong, but store food all summer. And then I, the Holy Spirit is so gentle and so sweet. And that is something that I am learning in these last few months is that love is supposed to be gentle like this. And I, I tend to gravitate towards love that is not gentle. And that's something in the last two months that I've really, really been slowly unwrapping the why I do that and all this stuff. And God has just been so amazing to show me what exactly love is supposed to actually look like. And he, it's just, it's so sweet and calm and gentle. And yeah, there's those moments of just like chills down your spine, excitement, but most of the time it's, it's in the private moments. It's in the very intimate and quiet moments that he really shows me what love is supposed to look like. So the Holy Spirit just kept dropping in my heart what each of these bits of verses meant for me and I just I felt like a sharing it I don't know <laughs> so um like I said the first one was ants they aren't strong but they store food all summer and I just wrote down even if I don't feel strong there are things that I can do to prepare for the future even if I don't feel like I have what it takes to finish my school, to be in a healthy relationship with the person that I'm supposed to marry, to go through life and witness to people, to be bold. Even if I don't feel like I have all of those things right now at this point, I can prepare. And that is, at the beginning of 2021, that was something God laid on my heart was prepare. Prepare for this next step. And I didn't really, <laughs> like, at the end of the year is always a good time to reflect on where you messed up and where to do better for the next year. So I just, 
that's where I'm at right now is this stage of preparation, of preparing, of storing food all summer for the when the winter comes and there's no food available. So it's kind of, it's a growth thing. And that's kind of where I'm at now is I, I don't feel like I am prepared. I don't feel like I'm strong. So I have to prepare for the what's next. So the next one was the badgers. Um, they aren't powerful, but they make their home among the rocks. So I, I'm a very visual person. So I'm like picturing all of these cute little animals in my head. So they hide among the rocks. That way they have shelter. That way they have security in there. So I wrote that um, two things came to me whenever I wrote that down. Um, I can build my foundation on the rock of Jesus. And time and time again through scripture, he is described, or God is described as a strong tower, a rock, a fortress, a place of rescue, and all of these things that are protective. And that is another thing I struggle with is I, I'm scared of not being protected. I'm scared of someone or I, I honestly, I am scared that God will not protect my heart. And that is of the enemy. And I believe that lie for so long that it is taking time to unwrap that and expose that and be like, okay, help me heal this. So I just, like I said, I'm very visual. So I just kind of picture being hidden in between the rocks and like these huge boulders are beside me and I'm hiding within them and that's it's Jesus and he is protecting me no matter what. So the second thing was I can surround myself with spiritual warriors to fight with me when I feel like I can't. So to me, the rock is not only representative of Jesus, but it's also representative of the community around us. And soon I will have to find a new community and I, that's something I've been praying at, like i um, been praying for favor in finding this new community that represents Christ, that isn't going to hold me hostage in these cycles that I've been trying and trying to get out of. Um, and and uh, it is, we do need people. We do need relationship and um, friendship and people to hold you accountable, people to help you and guide you through life and spiritual people we need spiritual people that represent or that are like the rocks that will protect you so the next thing is the locusts they have no king but they march in formation i'm quick to put other things before the king jesus or god I need to follow him with reckless abandon and march with my fellow believers so i previously did a video on Christians should be like a plague of locusts, like we should be so united, so powerful in Christ that our effect is like a plague of locusts, like we just plow through the world and now locusts do damage, but we destroy those strongholds that the enemy has and we help save souls in the name of Jesus and stuff like that. So that's kind of what came to my mind here again was similar to the plague of locust video that um, we march in formation. We often humans are quick. Humans are wired to have something that they worship, something that they idolize. And we should not have any earthly king. We should only have the father and we should be marching in unison and in formation. Uh, the last one is lizards. So the verse says, lizards, they're easy to catch, but found even in king's palaces. First off, that one cracked me up just because it's <laughs> like lizards. Does anybody really want them in their houses? No, but they're found even in king's palaces. And so I looked it up just to kind of see <laughs> what the heck this meant. <laughs> And, um, like, on a, on a practical level, of course, I understand what it means, but um, why is it here, <laughs> you know? I wrote down, I want to be the kind of Christian that just keeps showing up. I want to be the kind of Christian, Christian that found in those places where I may not be welcome, but I, I'm still there. I'm still there, no matter what. One commentator said that, the lizards are tolerated even in palaces to destroy flies. 
So I also want to be the kind of Christian that people are drawn to because through and in Christ, I exude kindness and healing. Even if I'm where I don't belong, the palaces, I want to be tolerated because they feel Christ's grace through my hands. So to me, it's like, even if I have, if, even if I am interacting with someone on a regular basis who does not believe in God, I want them to see Christ through me and feel like I was talking about at the beginning, that gentle love, that kindness, the, when they have a problem, they know they can come to me and God willing, I will have an answer for them. And even if they don't like it, it's, I want it to be something that's like, God told me this and this is going to help you. And I just, I'm a very empathetic person. I'm a fixer and I, I want to help people. So I, I want to be like the lizard or the spider, whatever you want to call it. I want to be there to help, even if people are like, eh, here comes Kendra again. <laughs> I hope that made sense. I want to be tolerated because they feel Christ's grace through my hands. I, we as Christians, we're just supposed to reflect him. And I, that's what I want and that is where I'm moving towards and it has been a long long road but God has stuck with me through it all and I'm still learning I'm still growing and I'm so grateful to him for the growth that I have already completed and just I'm probably gonna have a lot of videos about this gentle love that he has been gracing me with because it's like nothing I've ever experienced and it is completely changing how I view relationships, how I view people that I could potentially date or marry. Like it's just, I will have another video about it. All right. That is all for today. I will start being a little bit more consistent. <laughs> Please like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time. Make wise choices out there. Brain just went dead. What was I saying? My coffee's getting cold. Mm, rewind.